poll shows the majority of Americans now oppose more offshore drilling, a major shift from two years ago when most favored it. President Obama has placed a moratorium on deep sea drilling permits, but the U.S. will resume issuing new permits after six months. So, should drilling continue or not? Joining us for a fair and balanced debate, Daniel Kish from the Institute for Energy Research and Jackie Savitz, Senior Campaign Director of Oceana. Uh, okay, Jackie, I'm going to give it to you first. Uh, the sh uh, shift seems to be moving in the direction of less offshore drilling. Make the case. Well, I think the public is seeing that the, uh, the risks of offshore drilling outweigh the benefits. And so we have to step back and ask ourselves whether this is something we absolutely need to be doing. And I think if we started looking at how we could replace the amount of oil which we get for, from the Gulf of Mexico, for example, um, with things like conservation, energy efficiency, and clean energy technology, we could do that without increasing what we're importing, without increasing the amount of tanker traffic then I think the, most, uh, the majority of the public would agree that we could do that and avoid these risks and hopefully never see a deep water drilling disaster again. Well, Daniel, take it from there. About, I think it's around 1.4, 1.5 million barrels of oil uh, taken out of the Gulf on a daily basis. How would we replace that? Well, that would be very, very tough, and it means more imports from uh, foreign countries. The truth is that last year the United States used about the same amount of oil as we did in 1978. So we've done a much, much better job of using oil and being more efficient, but we still need oil and we will for decades to come. And the only option when we import 60 percent of our oil is to produce more at home. And it's not unexpected that the American public would have doubts with all the pictures uh, that are taking place. But two years ago when the price of gasoline went to four and five dollars a gallon, uh, it was a different story, and, and those are the consequences we're going to have in the future, as well as, as Governor Jindal has pointed out to the president, uh, the loss of jobs. He's very worried about the loss of jobs because of the president's precipitous action in the Gulf. Well, Jackie, let me ask you, if you take about, I don't know, 20, 25 percent of the U.S. oil production away, what would that do to the price of a gallon of gasoline? Well, the interesting thing is, first of all, that we're not talking about stopping creating energy, and the new energy technologies actually create three times more jobs than fossil fuel energy. So it's really not jobs versus the environment, it's jobs versus jobs. Do you want more clean jobs or do you want the same old fewer dirty jobs? And energy studies have shown that, yes, we do import about 60 percent of our, of our oil and gas, but if we opened up all of the areas off the U.S., the truth is we really don't have that much oil and gas in the United States. We could get that down to about 58 percent, but we're still going to be dependent on other countries. The only way to break that dependency let, is let to me, start Let me break in here. I apologize. Technology. I have to be fair and balanced. Daniel, what about it? Let me see if you'll answer the question. If you take that oil off the market, what would do to a gallon of gasoline at the pump? Well, uh, it probably will just mean we import more oil and it will give more power to people like Brazil and Russia and uh, the Middle East. Uh, what it does to the price will depend on other demand. Uh, other parts around the world are using a lot more oil. But the truth is we have huge amounts of oil in the United States, uh, both onshore and offshore, but 97 percent of that has not been leased by the government. So. If the government worked right. with the American people, we would have a lot more energy, a lot more jobs, and hopefully do it better and uh, move forward. All right, that's it. Uh, Daniel Kish, Institute for Energy Research, and Jackie Savage, Senior Campaign Director, Oceana. Thank you very much. Okay,